your hot and sexy breath up the city bird SUV. Right, ready we are then on Thursday evening for match 17 of the IPL. Our attention lies in Ahmedabad where the Gujarat Titans are continuing to build a formidable home record. Yes, they've slipped up against CSK on the road but they've beaten both Mumbai and Hyderabad and now up against them are a Punjab Kings side that have lost two on the road. That win against DC in their opening game seems a while back. They need to pick things up to Shikhar Dhawan's men and uh, that is what we build up to on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Token 4 timeout. Tom Moody gets a much deserved break. Varun Aaron has just slotted to the far right. Mitch McClanagan just doesn't move. He just changes <laughs> his clothes over there, sleeps there, and now we have him fresh and stationed there. Welcome, gentlemen. And may I give a very warm welcome to my dear friend and colleague from ESPN Rick Info, Dustin Silgado, has more experience here than the two of you. He's been on Run Order. He's been on a number of our video platforms. He's been at Rick Info for a while. And he's the disruptor today. He's going to yeah. come in with something which is really going to you know, storm a debate. So, good evening, Dustin. Good evening. And welcome to you. Mitch, why are you looking at him with such a <laughs> suspicious look? Like suspicious. everything I said well, is a lie. I'm a little bit nervous that you've actually brought in an expert to help <laughs> Tom with his impact zone. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous for, for later in what the show. What does that even mean? What is that? What? I brought an expert to help Tom. How is he helping Tom? Well, he's going to do Tom's <laughs> picks today. And oh, so my points will count in Tom? Is, you are on the board okay. today. So no, depending on, on the how board. many oh, appearances okay. oh. you... Not... See, I did one over here. Dustin okay. will do. Now let's see how the tournament evolves. Okay. But... Uh, you are just obsessed with the impact zone, isn't he? He's just like... That's good. That's, that's good in the time. He is. We need to get something set up so people can But he's not in. picking first today, all right? Yeah. We cannot do that. Okay. Yeah, We've had enough of that. Okay. You'll pick first today, don't worry. Anybody okay. except Mitch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dustin can. Okay. For ah, thank you. you don't have That'll a, be... I thought you'd be more gracious, you know, uh, when it comes gracious. to this. Yeah, like you've let so many other teams win finals and... <laughs> <laughs> but you're not there. You've been an Aussie. You make a better Aussie. I haven't played in one of those finals. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Four-time league winner Mitch McClanagan. Anyway, uh, we build up to GT versus Punjab, and we'll get you news from uh, Ahmedabad in a little while from now. We can just tell you that Punjab have won the toss. Shikhar Dhawan has decided to have a bowl first. Uh, quick one. It's can you call a clear favourite? Is is it the Titans here because this is in Ahmedabad? Varun. Yes, I would say so because uh, they're really good at home. They know their conditions really well. They play the correct horses for courses. Uh, they really miss. Uh, they really ha they really have misses in their team combination, which is really good. Uh, so I would say uh, GT for sure and Shubman Gill in uh, the the, my, the what's it? Uh, Shubman Gill in the. In, in the, 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 no, the, in the, the Modi Stadium. Modi Stadium. <laughs> I was thinking, okay, I was thinking of Motera because that was the old name. And I was like, no, it's not Motera anymore. Let's quickly move on. Yeah. Uh, the big news that comes from there is that David Miller misses out due to niggle, and it's a first appearance oh. of the season for the New Zealand captain Kane Williamson. Oh. Okay. Yep. Uh, well, I mean, that changes the the makeup of their lineup. Lineup, mm. right? Uh, it'll be interesting to see where he slots in. Uh, so Sadarshan's done a great job at number three, but. That's traditionally where Kane Williamson does his best work. So uh, I, I'd be reluctant to move side, but I think him and Kane are very similar players. So you might actually see a bit of pressure come on at that point from the Punjab Kings. Yeah, yeah. That's and three similar players they have though: yeah. Saha, Sudarshan, and Williamson. Yeah. I mean, Saha tends to be in a different mm -hmm. role. Yeah, but so like hard. three players who play similar shots, like mm -hmm. to hit the ball over the infield mm -hmm. rather than go big. Yeah, I think so that, like if the if Shubman's batting the way he is. Then Shubman, Sudarshanan and Kane Williamson might be the three that all batted that sort of 120, yeah. 130 tempo. They're batting first here, so they'll have to set the pace. But, but I would say Sai Sudarshan, he can change his tempo as well. Mm. Yes. Because he's one of those anchor kind of players. Who, against spin. Who, against spin. He strikes he play, well against spin, he plays not the, against pace. He plays the conditions really well, all right? Because the other day, the wicket was slow and... We need, they needed a batsman who could just actually rotate, get the, get the odd boundary, which is perfect. But he also can up his tempo. Okay, I'm very interested to see if there are other changes as a result because it seems pretty top heavy once you replace Miller with Williamson. Mm. So whether there's room for either Abhinav Mano or Shah Rukh Khan, any other changes yeah. that they made, or do they just trust Vijay Shankar, Tevatya, etc., to do the job? But we find out. We also can confirm Liam Livingston is not playing. Sikandar Raza has been given the nod. It's something mm. that you guys called. Um, Quick reaction on that though, Raza and uh, over Russo. Yeah, look, it, it was always going to come down to whether they wanted a power player mm -hmm. at the top or more of a batsman at the top or uh, Raza who's more of a hitter. So they've gone with the latter. They've gone with the power to, uh, to replace power. Um, I think Raza adds a little bit more of the ball as well. Yes. Uh, Rahul Chahar hasn't been bowling uh, very well in this tournament so far. So 
he comes in with the ball and he's very effective. So mm. he's been in great form as well. So he's, he's a good addition. Okay, that's the swap that they made, which is like for like. You think when they picked up Sikandar Raza, he was back up for Livingston. And uh, as far as having to deal without David Miller, that's something Ashish Nehra and the Gujarat Titans would have to deal with. Now, we'll come back to the game a little while from now. But Ashish Nehra and the two-year short history of the IPL with the Gujarat Titans has already made a name for himself. Where does he stand? among uh, perhaps some of his contem uh, contemporaries. Dustin, what is your special segment today? As so, my, my segment is just to be outrageous, basically. Yes. So, we have a WhatsApp group, obviously, at Cricket Info. It's a lot of CSK and MI fans. So, one day, I just, just for the heck of it, I just put a message there saying, Ashish Nehra is the best IPL coach ever. And then I exited the group immediately, <laughs> to not face their wrath. But then I got to thinking about it. Here's the thing, obviously, Fleming, five titles, Jayawardene, amazing. But... Nera had to, I mean, he started at a disadvantage, right? All the other teams had so many years to build their squads, build their strategies. He comes in and immediately wins the title in his first season with a squad that a lot of people said was on paper the weakest squad. Yep. And he's someone who hasn't necessarily gone the scouting way of finding young players, although they have young players. But he's also completely transformed players who had been in the IPL for a long time. I'm talking about Mohit Sharma, Vijay Shankar, Rahul Tewatia. He just completely changed them. So... For me, I, I actually think now, even though I started it as a bit of a joke, that he's got a serious claim to being the best IPL coach, even though this is just his third season. Wow. And that is why Dustin has now come up with this. You can see Rera's track record. And this is a special segment curated for Dustin, mm. which we call Prove Him Wrong. Yeah. So, can you prove him yeah. wrong? I'm going to put in all my power in a bit. But you took another well, crack first. I guess the easiest way to prove you wrong is whether you've been invited back into that WhatsApp group. <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay, well then you're wrong. You're clearly wrong. You're clearly wrong. When, when you start looking at it, look, hey, he's got off to a great start. You're right, he has transformed some players who didn't perform as well as they probably would have liked at other franchises. Uh, so he definitely must have some good leadership qualities. Uh, but he did have a very good year with Shubman Gill and Hardik Pandya and the likes who were in very good form. Um, and sometimes as a coach, you're only good as your cattle uh, who are in form at the time. I, I think you've got to get a bigger sample size than, than two seasons. Um, he did make the final the, uh, the second year. Uh, this year will be very significant in terms of backing up your statement. Uh, but I think you can't look past Stephen Fleming, um, you know, five titles in the time he's been coach. Uh, I know it's hard for me to say as well. Um, then Mahala comes very close as well to come in and do what he did uh, in that short period. What is six years and three titles, um, three and four years. Uh, that's the kind of sample size. That's the kind of record I'd want to see from Ashish Nehra before I start putting him in. I like, I like how we're all starting off when the guy who's actually been in the Nehra dugout is sitting quietly yeah. and just... <laughs> And he's actually been and in many dugouts. Let me say, but neither Fleming or Jayawadri looks as cool pacing the boundary line as Nera. He's like a football-style cricket manager out, man. just walking around <laughs> the boundary I have line. Some, I have some pretty, <laughs> See, I'm going, to, I'm going to try to prove you wrong, but I can definitely try and prove him wrong with just a couple okay, but, of things. Okay. Which I'll yeah, but I'm interested in Varun. Varun, who's played, of course, yeah. in the Titans' successful season. So, if you just go by current performance and if you just go by strike rates, all coaches, all those great coaches included, obviously Nera tops it because he's done two seasons, one winner, one runner-up, uh, which is phenomenal because like like Ronak said, he didn't have uh, the advantage of picking a team in a mega auction. He he was like, uh, he, he just had to go in, get whatever options he had and make do with it, which is great. And the most important thing is he's brought in uh, a lot of CSK philosophies into, into GT. Uh, like he persists with with players, he gives chances to. He just doesn't uh, drop, and change. drop and change. Yeah. Umesh Yadav has not had three uh, good games, but I'm sure he'll play today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he's he's uh, entrusted players with certain role and trust them to fulfill it. But he only changes if everything goes to like everything goes pieces. bad. Yeah, yeah, everything goes to pieces. Everything goes to the yeah, absolutely. So he's one of those guys, and the greatest part of uh, Ashish Nehra is that he has time. For everybody, the amount of time, I don't think he spends any time in his room. Mm. The amount of time he spends with players, <laughs> seriously, mm. I'm not joking. The amount of time he spends with players, with support staff, with, with the guys who have been not playing, net bowlers, mm. is, is unbelievable. I think he's one of the most selfless coaches I've ever, ever met. Um, um, which has a point. Sorry, I am cutting in. I just wanted to take a look at that TV screen. It says, prove me wrong. Mm. That's the name of the segment. <laughs> uh, so, we're trying to so prove mean. Dustin wrong. 
No, that's not me. No, no, but he's giving us enough ammo. I'm giving you, I'm giving you insight. So I'll tell you what. Let me. Yeah. Let me and then the the butt is coming. <laughs> At some point, the butt okay, is coming. Let me challenge a couple of things. I yeah. I love what you said about yeah. Ashish, and it's great insight on yeah. you know the CSK philosophy. The point of how he whether he started at a disadvantage. I would say the two teams that had the greatest advantage of before the mega auction were the two new teams because the other core groups had to be chopped and LSG and GT actually got to pick players like Rashid Khan, Hardik Pandya, Shubman Gill, KL Rahul, you know, Nicholas Puran, uh, sorry not Puran, it was Marcus Stoyle. Let's be honest here, Rashid Khan was in the auction because of SRH is genius, okay. <laughs> There's no other reason. Uh, like who? Yeah, but, who? But, but, no, 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 that, no, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. But my point is, starting three. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, Pandya, <laughs> Pandya, Gil, and Rashid Khan as three to build. But, but no, but one second, he trusted Gil. Gil at that time, KKR let him go, right? Correct. And so yeah, yeah, he, he profited the from the poor management from say two other calls, two Correct. other franchises. Three. But I think I'm just balancing it out. Like I don't know if it was as yeah. much of a disadvantage being the head coach yes, of a new so. franchise. However, I must say the CSK philosophy point. We tend to believe that players who don't do as well in a number of franchises suddenly find a lot of love in CSK. Yeah. I could, I think that's in play here too. It's not just backing mm -hmm. players, but maybe that's one of the big reasons. But David Miller was n was not an IPL success until he went to the Titans. In fact, if anything, he yeah. was one of the most under biggest underachievers mm -hmm. at Punjab. He's now just transformed into one of the best finishers in that position in the world. Vijay Shankar, a player who found very little love in Indian cricket, and suddenly, you know, you found. A real impact for Vijay Shankar, uh, which no other IPL team. Shami was Shami was also off a few yeah, linears yeah. when he when he went to Mohit uh, Sharma. Had Mohit Sharma, gone at oh, more Mohit than Sharma and over. had oh. the education in. He had gone at more than twelve and over, more than ten and over in certain full seasons, yeah. and now he's down under nine. So you you are, where would you rate him among bringing the best out of players that perhaps would be low on confidence or maybe you know Look, sort of see, have not had any of seasons. the any of the mature players who play in the IPL and, who, and who've dropped off form, they don't need like technical inputs they need somebody to actually uh, believe in them and and not just uh, show belief in talk but actually show belief in action by actually giving them those games giving them the positions they want to play in giving them the overs they want to bowl them in um, and also he works uh, very closely see what a lot of people don't understand is the teams which do well like uh, mi uh, gt csk they put in a lot of work throughout the year not just not mm -hmm. just during the season, not just before the season. A uh, lot of the teams which don't do well, who've never won trophies, they are actually, ironically, the teams which actually don't put in any work mm. during the cricket season, the, during the Indian cricket season. So mm. see, look, uh, it all boils down to how much the team is willing to offer the player even when he's not playing for them, irrespective if he's a regular or a not regular. Because sometimes when your important players get injured, it's generally the guys who haven't had much game time yeah. who come in. And if you've serviced yeah. them enough outside yeah. games, then you obviously have a okay. straight… So, very strong case made for Ashish Nehra. But I go back should to now Mitch's yeah. point is valid. Should we, let's should we see, yeah, let, let, let's see how far he gets uh, along. We'll do like a head-to-head. -head. So, like say Ashish Nehra versus John Wright, who was Mumbai's first title-winning coach. Big time scout, of course. But where would you… Do you think Nehra is ahead of him now? Right or no, do you still let's, let's ask Mitch because yeah. you've rated Mahila mm. Mm. as the best Mumbai coach. There's Ponting there as well. So yeah. there's Mahila, Ponting, John Wright. There's three guys who've been successful with MI. But where, if you had to rank them? Oh, I think at this stage you have to put them on the same level, don't oh, you? Well, that, well in all on, honesty, yeah. you've got two years, you've mm. got the same sample yeah. size, yeah. and you've got the same results. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Ashish Nira may be slightly ahead of John's um, results because Mumbai only made the playoffs in that year in 2014 yeah. um, and Ashish took his team to the final again and, and lost on the last ball. So maybe he is just a bit above that. But yeah. again, it comes down to sample source. Yeah, he did win them okay. their first title, I think. 2013 yes. was, was, ra was yeah. right. Yeah. And if you look at Ricky Ponting, who of course made a name for himself just quite recently, one of his first big successes as a head coach, uh, as a high-profile head coach for a high-profile player was MI 2015-16. And did decently with Delhi, took them... To the playoffs. A well, the thing of the Delhi the story finals. is a story of two halves all of a sudden yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Ponting, and that's the other challenge, right? There are this guy, some, the opposite number today, in today's game, Trevor Bayliss, right? Could have been a serious contender if, say, Trevor Bayliss never coached after KKR success wins. But he's been at Sunrisers, which didn't work. He's been at Punjab now, which is a tough place to mm -hmm. manage, you know, just because of the kind of chopping and changing that both those franchises have, have undergone. So I don't know where Bayliss stands as a World Cup winning coach. Because Bayless had an incredible roster 
uh, yeah. when yeah, when he was yeah. there. He had obviously had Sunil and the Ryan, yeah. Andre Russell in their in their prime. Yeah. Uh, it was Jacques Kellis there at that time as well. Uh, in yeah, that time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Gambir himself. Gambir, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, you had... Utapa was yeah. a you, big part of it. Did you yeah. have Ut- Utapa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You had a Chawla high, in his prime. Yeah. Oh, you had, you had a high-quality roster there. Uh, and that's why so, they got so those... So, on, t- on that note, let me make the strongest case for the member of our panel, who I thought it's appropriate that we can't have this conversation with him. You know, he'd be yeah. embarrassed. But in all seriousness, what Tom Moody achieved in 2016, and yes, the success as player would go to David Warner and captain, I think there's a very strong case to say Tom is certainly amongst the greatest foreign coaches in the IPL, if not the best, because Hyderabad was not a team that people expected to consistently win. And yeah. IPL winning is tough. Now, the Chargers were another Hyderabad franchise that had won it, but that's a different era. Yeah. The fact that they won in 16 and made a final in 2018 came close. And if you look at the 2016 final, especially when they beat RCB at Chinnaswamy, you have four overseas there. Warner had an incredible season. Mustafizur was a fine, right? And Tom's mentioned that. But you had Rashid, you, uh, you didn't have Rashid Khan that year. Bo- Bhuvi was great. Bhuvi yeah. was great, but you had Moses Henriques, you had yeah. Ben Cutting. Their top four, I think, was Dhawan, Warner, uh, Henriques at three, and Yuvraj Singh at four. Yeah. Yuvraj was a wonderful player, but the IPL was always a bit up and down for him. Against a team that had Gail, A.B., Kohli, KL Rahul, you know, it was a heck of a team at home. Kohli's Ben Cutting's form. one over versus Shane Watson was the turning point of Correct. that. Yeah, it was. It was, yeah. and Tom says it was. It was a matchup apparently. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, and I think he built a really strong sort of culture and vibe. Now they've fallen yeah. off since. I, I think you're right. I I think when it comes when we're assessing coaches, it's very important to look at consistency, um, and c- consistency of making playoffs is is probably what I measure a good coach on and in these big tournaments because once you get your team to the playoffs, then it, a lot of luck comes into winning those one-off games. And yeah. so you can't really measure the season just purely on whether they won or not. Uh, he, he, he took his... He obviously had the title uh, within what, a five-year period. He, he took them to four playoffs. Um, yeah. Uh, like that's significant consistency. And, and then the other layers and the elements where you, you find the Rashid Khans, you, you find the Mushtafa Zuz, Guys who come into your setup and have such a significant impact, and knowing that they hadn't had a lot of exposure to international cricket or high-level cricket be- previous to that, and you, as a coach, you've got to get them up to that level, and trusting in themselves to perform against the best players in the world. So I think that's significant when you start looking at assessing these coaches as well. I would I would like to say one thing when it comes to coaches. I feel that a coach is eventually judged on uh, the vibe and the ethos he brings to a team, yeah. and and that could be easily measured by the guys who leave the team or, or or retire. You will never find a single guy saying anything bad about CSK. You'll never find a single player saying anything bad about GT. It's because that when you're in within those teams, I'm not saying people say bad stuff about the other teams. Ooh. No, no, I'm, I'm just making yeah. that clear because I don't want to be quoted uh, saying some nonsense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but... Uh, if you but, name the other eight teams but, and say, Aaron but, says eight teams, no, 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 about but, but, but to be honest, it's, it's the coach who brings that uh, that ethos to a team, right? And as a coach, that's all you can do in the IPL. In the, you can't come into the IPL as a coach and be like, oh man, these are my strat- my, my yeah, strategies no, no, and you got to play around it. You just have to make people comfortable and bring the best out so of them. So quickly, we've got to move hmm. quickly on this chat, but if we are crediting the CSK philosophy for Ashish Nehra being the greatest ever coach, then technically doesn't his learnings and his reference point come from Stephen Fleming? Oh, <laughs> there we are. The great Stephen Fleming. Won five titles, including the first ever successful defence. What a story it is of Stephen Fleming, who played for CSK in the opening season and then effectively became coach while he was still an active squad member and has just become quietly and understatedly, in typical Flem fashion, uh, one of the most respectable names in franchise coaching. And 11 out of 13. Uh, we can, we, can we include the Pune Super Giants years also? Yep. It's more or less the yeah, same. Yeah. Are we talking yeah. about coaches? Yeah, there's like another the final LR, there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah there so, was. I think Fleming would. But you know, where, where the thing is, no, it's when. <laughs> topping the chart. He will watch this. I know he'll watch this. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get a message tomorrow. But who's the boss of the franchise? Who do you oh. credit to the success at various franchises? In certain cases, you'd say it's the captain. In certain cases, you'd say it's the coach. In CSK's case, I'd say it's Dhoni. And Flem has just done a great job of sort of managing there. But tactically into it, you know, Ashish Nehra with these wild... I mean, even Flem and CSK have won teams, won with teams which we thought were not as strong on paper. But 
I wonder who the boss is. Yeah. You, you get us. Oh, no, no, no come on. No, no, no. It's, yeah, it's no I was just going to say if Naira can win it with two different captains, that would be something that yes, stands that's out yeah, that's to do it with two different captains. Yeah. And that's the same and challenge with, with Stephen Fleming. That's now. the challenge, right? Yeah. Um, look, I think they've got a really good relationship yes. and, and part of being a good coach is having a great relationship with your captain. When you dig a little bit deeper into Stephen Fleming as a coach, the stuff that you hear about empowering players to to turn up to training and yeah. and try and perform or get better every day and and that kind of philosophy I, I find fascinating when you hear those kind of stories and and that's not led by Donny. Yes, yeah. he's an example of that philosophy. He yeah. turns up to training every day to get better, but Stephen Fleming has to be able to have that conversation with every person who turns up to training and getting them into the right mindset. Yeah. So uh, I think you've got to give. Stephen Fleming as much accolades for the success of and CSK the longevity, as Tony's yeah. and the longevity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was fun. Uh, so we have to rate the top three now. So do you want to run like a rapid fire? Do you have one ready? Yeah, I have. I have just so I had started with uh, Nera versus Wright. I think Mitch said Nera gets it just by a smidge. What about Nera versus Bayless, Varun? Who do you think gets just ahead? In I would say Nera. Point? Okay, so Nera, uh, Nera versus uh, Tom Moody. Tough one. Uh, I'd say Tom at the moment. I would say it's pretty much even Stevens. Um, but if you go by, I would say go by current form, hmm. then you would say Naira by current form. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. if you see, if you Tom's see, current form is uh, yeah, no, because he's hundred, hundred defending yes, champion. But, yeah, but anyway. more, more, more seasons, I guess, for yeah. Tom. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, either one of them then against Ponting. You, or would you still go? I would with say Naira Tom stash? ahead of Ponting for sure. So Tom and Naira ahead of Ponting, and then yeah. we get into the really big ones. Uh, Mahela is ahead of either Nera and Tom, you would say, because of the three titles. I would say I would say Fleming is ahead of everybody. Yeah, yeah I, w- I was yeah. going to get Fleming. Correct, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's going to wait. Okay, let, me, let me try this again. Okay, we're going to try this again, right? That's Mahela Jayawardena's wonderful record and uh, accolades with Mumbai Indians. Uh, he is still actively involved with them, isn't he? Even though we don't quite see him in the dugout and there's a different head coach. Yeah. Or maybe MI feel like they're like vouchers better than Jayawardena. Oh, he's the director of cricket, isn't he? Because because of what's happened with how successful the IPL's been with the expansion of of the teams into all the leagues, they need someone overseas. So he's moved into a bigger role. Yes, of course. We saw him at the auction table as well. Right. Let me try this very quickly. Just give me a one-on-one, right? Let's focus on Varun Aaron first and we'll play the game just with him. Varun, ready? Let's cut to Varun. Yeah, okay. Varun, ready? Nera versus Wright. Nera. Nera versus Bayless. Nera. Nera versus Moody. Tough one. Just one. I would say Nera. Nera versus Ponting. Nera. Nera versus Mahila. Still Nera. Nera versus Fleming. Fleming. All right. Mitch McLennigan, your turn. Mm. Let's see how you respond on this. <coughs> Ready? Nera versus Wright. Nera. Nera versus Bayless. Nera. Nera versus Moody. Moody. Nera versus Ponting. Moody versus Ponting. Moody. Moody versus Mahila. Mahila. Mahila versus Fleming. Fleming. Wow. So former Mumbai Indians man and yeah. man who's played with Ashish Nair among others. Still, there's a regard for the great it's So It's so difficult to, yeah. in, yes. in the moment. There's so That's many fine. factors yeah, yeah, yeah. to it. But if he has the so success and, and, for that longer and with, time. With, with Moody, it's just purely current because Nera is current and he, it's, it's about this era. Otherwise, yeah. definitely Moody for sure. Okay. And the, other, the other one I know we didn't talk about, you didn't put on the sheet, was <coughs> Andy Flower. I know he's only just come in as a head coach into this league, but his success globally yeah. is significant in terms of he pretty much goes to every comp and wins. So he's right in that conversation as well. Is it a tough franchise right now to try and win though? No, no, we, yeah, we, this was just IPL. Or no, RCB. Right, no, no, uh, but anyway. Um, All right. Have they proven you wrong, Dustin? Yeah, yeah. They have. <laughs> they have. I mean, if if Varun, who's played under Nera, is rating Fleming higher, then there's no there's no comeback. <laughs> How nice, Justin. The first time I've seen you concede. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I've never seen that. All right. Really, I'll, I'll you tell you later that? whether I really agree or not. Okay, no, don't. don't. <laughs> yeah. All right. It was a wonderful chat, though, and these are all terrific coaches. It's just it's a fun discussion that we were having about the role of a coach, the impact, and how successful Ashish Nera has. Uh, been with the Gujarat Titans and let's move our attention back to his next assignment, the immediate one against Punjab Kings like we told you, uh, toss one by Dhawan and Punjab bowling first and some changes, important changes for both teams. Let's just confirm team news that comes through from the Narendra Modi Stadium. Sikandar Raza is the only change as I see it. This is of course their bowling first 11 
and we can therefore no rahul chahar we can therefore rahul chahar is there and the, yeah on the right hand side there <laughs> is at number 9 so i'm just trying to think ashutosh sharma might just be mm. the batting sub then if they've oh. named prab simran in their team so somebody's gone out which will tell you in addition to uh liam livingston who they are missing is likely to be i'll just confirm that in a yeah. second for i think, you. I think uh, if you look at that shashank singh yeah, shashank, shashank singh is out so they will oh. probably have ashutosh sharma coming in because i don't see shashank on the impact options either yeah i think if you look at that side we might see a repeat of what we saw in the earlier games where sam curran went up to four um yeah. with livingston not being there and leave sekanda raza down towards the back end with jatesh to to finish off but uh yep sharma will come in but from a bowling point of view it'll be interesting to see what they roll out with are they going to persevere with sam curran taking the first over mm. I, i think against two right-handers at the moment I, i'd like to see ashdi take take the new ball yep. give him an opportunity to get himself into the mm. ipl and, and and take that first over where uh you know everyone's trying to figure out the game. i would say rabada new ball to gill get because gill is most susceptible in the first like 6 7 balls mm. and mm. and rabada is the perfect matchup for gill uh today Rahul Tewati has got his work cut out for him. Yes. No, no, David Miller. He's going to have to be their their man at at the death. Yeah, that's looking at that match up with Rabada against the GT openers. It's look, something we'll get to see soon. Yes, mate. This is a really good point um, in terms of how you're picking your openers because you see just with those numbers against uh, Rabada, uh, Saha actually strikes really well, and and when you don't want two openers who've got the same yeah. weakness. Yeah. Um, and Gill and Saha are a very good. opening pair because they both play different shots and hit yeah. to different areas of the ground so yeah. uh, it'll be interesting if Rabada gets the new ball and bowls to Gill he'll be trying to keep the pressure on and trying not let Saha on to strike yeah there's yeah. also Shubman Gill in the openers conversation who loves playing against Punjab right that's his home state of course but if you look at just by opposition of Shubman Gill's young IPL career is gone and it is a team that he loves playing against an average of nearly 57 550 plus scores it's fair to say in the first three games we haven't quite seen the same Gill that just lit up last year's ipl on his way to you know dominating the tournament and uh, emphatically securing the orange cap but this is an opposition he does fancy let's have a look at um, uh, the titans team too just just try and visualize how that look right now we put sudarshan at 3 and williamson at 4 that might change vijay shankar and as varun points out devatya may have uh, to really uh, come in as a batter today Asmuthul Omar has even batted four guys this season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So depending on how good a start the openers get, let's say Could they happen. get a eight-nine over start. What does that do for say someone like Williamson? Do you then bring Sudarshan in and Williamson just keeps dropping down or well, becomes I think, redundant? I think if the spins on, uh, I think Sai comes up, Sai Sudarshan comes up, he strikes it one fifty-six against spin in the middle and strike yeah. rate against pace is, is is a lot lower. So yeah. he's a significant countermeasure against good good spin. um and you might see Kane drop down but uh and Omazai come up as well or even Tawatia you mm. know you might yeah. see him coming as a as an impact up the order do you ever feel they underuse Rashid a bit as a batter because yeah. he has some incredible numbers in terms of his yeah. strike rate uh he's down at 8 on the list but could they bring him up maybe because they don't have Miller somewhere mm. on the 15th 16th over mark do you think yeah. no gujarat really believes in letting people do their job Uh, Rashid, he obviously plays some really good innings right down right. Uh, at at his position. Right. Uh, today is going to be very interesting because they've got very similar batsmen playing in their first five six. Hmm. So big day for Vijay Shankar, big day for Tevatia. Let's see how it goes. I just think that's the right thing. Generally, in all works are like, let everyone do their job. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to that and do that. Yeah. Well done, Gujarat Tigers. <laughs> I'm beginning to now. You know, Yesterday, Mitch you. took your job though. Who took my job? Mitch. That's okay. <laughs> that's true. That that was also something I wanted him to. Do. <laughs> anyway, uh, and on that note, the re- the part the the part of the segment that Varun refers to is when Mitch presented the impact zone, which he won yesterday. So he's defending today. So let's head into the impact zone. before before i head to the picks let's remind everyone what this is of course dustin you know what this is i hope you watch every day every show yes yes you better <laughs> i yeah. was only told about this 30 seconds ago but yeah well, that's yeah. poor from you you should have come earlier you reached the studio only 30 seconds ago <laughs> or oh, you're not watching a show <laughs> yeah i'm uh, no i know about the, i didn't think i would have to make the picks i thought you guys would make Nonsense. the picks and i would just oh. sit it out all right uh, three players for each for dustin's convenience and for any of our new viewers three players that each expert picks one batter one bowler and a wild card 
impact points for each player as per ESPN Rick Info's smart stats. Much better way to see the impact of a player in this format than conventional numbers. And expert with the highest points tally for each game gets three points in their season tally. Right. Dustin's going to play this today. Before I let you pick, I just like to mention that there was a slight error in our graphics. There is no Rahul Chahar. So, Shashank Singh is in and no Rahul Chahar. I was, I was, see, I was confused when you guys were like, <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm just following. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay, I'll never argue with 150 plus clicks. <laughs> okay, so Excellent. that that's. Uh, if anyone wants to give a quick response to no Rahul Chahar, is a big player missing out? No. Oh, uh, I think it's, it's okay. It's, it's a uh, early doors. Uh, to drop him, but let's see how it goes. All right. Now, we've already had the benefit of seeing a little bit of what's happening at Ahmedabad in the corner of our eye. Looks like uh, Shubman started with a bit of a bang. Harpreet Bharat is the new ball. So, Mitch, you started first yesterday. You will not start today. Other mm -hmm. than going to get letters. So, Varun Aaron, you can go first today. Batsman, Shubman Gill. Shubman Gill for Varun Aaron. Dustin, you're going to play as well. So, pick a batter. I'll go Johnny Besto. Johnny Besto. Okay, guys. Shikadawa. Okay, we've got the openers covered for Punjab. It's time for a bowler and Mitch, Mitch McLennigan, you will go last. So, Dustin, you will go first. Okay, let's be interesting. I'll pick Nalkande. Wow, okay. Mitch? Rashid Khan. No, no, Mitch, it goes this oh, way. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said, so, you said last. last again. No, no, last. Oh, that's okay, I'll go Rashid Khan. What the shit? Can <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go this way? Come on. What? I keep apologize. Yes, apologize. What the, <laughs> what the bits? Anyone. Yes. Anyone. Okay, so now this <laughs> man went for Nalkande now. What to do? No, he I said Rashid Khan. He said Rashid Khan then. Mohit Sharma. Okay, he's on. He's assuming he comes in as an impact sub, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, fine. Mohit Sharma for Varun Aaron. And now, Mitch, you get to go first. I'm going to go with Ashtaip. Okay, another bowler? Uh, wild card, anybody you want. Wild card. I go with Shikatavan. Already taken, I think. Yeah. 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 No, yes. One of the batters, uh, yeah. Um, Would you like to see the teams? Yes, please. Please, can we see the teams? Come on, man. The other team. There's Kate the Williamson, there's the Sai Sudarshan. No, the other team. Uh, okay, he doesn't want to see GT. And there is Sikandar um, Raza. Sikandar Raza, yes. All right, Sikandar Raza for uh, Varun Aaron. Dustin. Kane Williamson. Oh, okay. Oh, Mitch. Nice. A performance first. Oh, wickets fallen in the first over, so I'm so guessing I don't he'll get think a few he's going to take Ridhiman Saha. <laughs> and he's already got Ashdi. It looks high. Okay, it does look high. It's on review now. Let's not call yeah. it live. Let's not get into trouble. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll close it up, Mitch. Yeah, close it up. Oh, no, wait, who, is it done? Yeah, it's all done. It's yeah. done. It's done. Yeah, Everything's yeah. done. I was just yeah. going to keep going, I think. Yeah. No, we can <laughs> uh, close it up, Mitch. Close the show. Uh, look, uh, I guess from now, I guess we're trying to see what everyone's predictions are. We'll start with you, Ronnie. Oh, good one. Thank you very much, Mitch. Uh, I think that Varun Aaron is going to predict to score a 180 plus. Varun. <laughs> 180 plus. <laughs> okay, 180 for you? Yes. 180. An outrageous pick? Outrageous pick. Shikha Dhawan gets out in his first six balls. First six balls. All right, Mitch? Uh, 173. And? And I think Ashdeep's going to take four wickets. This is just a regular prediction for you because your predictions are usually outrageous anyway. No, I, okay, I'll say 200 plus in the first innings. Outrageous pick. Today we'll see a 30 run over. I don't 30. know. 30? Yeah, like this wow. is a 30, is 30 run over. Well, it's exciting. Oh, it's a good start. It could be optimistic. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Devatya <laughs> against Punjab. Who knows? You never know. Right. You never Thank know. you very much. Dustin, it was fun having you. We'll see you at the end of the innings as well. Mitch McLean again, Varun Aaron, always a pleasure. We pick right. up the chat at the end of the Titans innings on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Cricket. For time out, download the mobile app if you haven't already. Uh, all the very latest from the world of cricket and the fastest live scores and so much more. We will see you in 20 overs time. All new hot and techy breath up. The city bird SUV.